All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I'm going to give our honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechach, Kodash. Say, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechach, Kodash. And we give double honors to our apostles and our elders, which are the apostle elders, a great millstone, which feed us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. 2024, which is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Lord willing, this be the year that Yahweh Shem Yahshah redeems the elect, sets up the kingdom of heaven, which belongs to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are spread out through the four corners of the planet Earth and confusion of face, and those that may not look like your traditional Israelite. Let's jump into this. The title of this video is going to be called The Stage is Set for Jacob's Trouble. Okay. The stage is set for Jacob's trouble, and everything you see taking place now is a culmination of that. I talked about this video, uh, brother shared this video, and uh, just going into the fact of they're setting the stage. Why? That's why they let you got to look back in hindsight. What to say? Hindsight is twenty twenty. So look why they did certain things. Why did they let all these migrants in? It wasn't for a better life. Because the same countries that these migrants are from have been ravished by Babylon, namely these politicians, the, the, the dark hand of things. So they weren't worried about even in the time of 9-11, you had a push to pretty much push people out and to make immigration that much tougher because immigration changed after that. OK, you know, there was more money pumped into border control. Uh, more money pumped into making sure the you know deportations, all those things happened after nine eleven, all right. And I can tell you that from from experience. You know, uh, my parents have been you know immigrants and told you know they they had to, they said they told me it wasn't like that. Immigration they had a somewhat of a you know immigration policies, but it wasn't that strong. Okay, so let's jump into this video. To show you that everything is being set, even Trump that's coming in there, he's just a controlled opposition, just like the apostle speaks about. And now you're seeing that the the stage is being set. So this election is going to change. If we do have one, it's going to change things dramatically because they're going to say one thing, but they really want to come after another thing. It's going to start with, oh, these migrants and people are going to be with it because they have a fear now. Fear is a, is a very good controller. Esau has mastered the use of fear. That's why Yahweh Shia even told us that we should not fear, we shouldn't worry. Those are things that the Heavenly Father doesn't glorify him. You know, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom because that's fearing what Yahweh Shia tells you and wants you to do, even according to the laws. But in general, the fear where it says there is no law, there is no sin. Okay, so the things that Esau wants you to fear about is not what Yahweh Shia wants you to fear. You know, that's why faith comes into play. So what has he done? He's manipulated these people and used that fear tactic because it's a playbook. They deal with the left-handed side, okay? Just like the most high controls the left and the right. Esau's doing this on a high level on the left-handed side, which is witchcraft magic, okay? That's why it's called even his Hollywood is, is what? A hollow wood, which is a wand. His media is going into that, that uh, magic that he uses to beguile the people. So let's go ahead and play this short clip to go into this, and then I'm going to look up some of these videos to show you it's a trending thing right now. And these, these, these Babylonians, they're ready because they feel that these migrants are taken away from their livelihoods and encroaching on them, and, and, and pretty much now they feel in danger. That's why the whole Aurora, and he even said they're going to name it Operation Aurora, and we can look up that word Aurora too to go into that understanding. So let's play this clip. To expedite removal of the Trende Aragua and other savage gangs, I will invoke the Alien Enemies Act of 1798. Can you imagine? Those were the old days when they had tough politicians. I have to go back that long. Think of that, 1798. Oh, it's a powerful act. You couldn't pass something like that today. Today we're politically correct. Today, people kill and they end up getting out on bail in two minutes. No, this is a little different act. The Aliens Enemy Act, 1798, to target and dismantle every migrant criminal network operating on American soil. 100%. Mm. 
And if you really look into where these um, these migrants and um, different things go into, they've been set up because that goes into the cartels. And how's the how's drugs been coming in here? I always said this: Negroes don't own planes. Okay, it takes and and cocaine and these certain drugs don't grow in the climate of of America. They don't flourish here. So how have they been able to get all these drugs and fentanyl, all these kinds of things? How's these gangs allowed to operate on the border of Babylon, where Babylon has sophisticated satellite systems, drones, all these things that can monitor heat signatures, all these things. Look at the look at the theater of war dealing in Ukraine. OK, they could take out the cartels instantly, easily tap their phones, all these kind of things. It's. Is well monitored. They know who's who and who's pushing because they let in those that are under contract with them. Okay, so there's unsaid contracts, backdoor deals. So these cartels are really set up because you can see it in movies. You see where the CIA planes get caught with uh, 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 loads of, of cocaine. Even going back to the Contra scandal, the Iran Contra scandal. That's where you get the word contraband from. Okay, it's the Iran Contra scandal where you had this situation where they were allowing drugs to be sold to funnel money for a war. All right. So now it's being fast forward today. They're using the same just like Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda was they said that was even formed up too. that was a government. That was a government psyop or project. So if these things are set up now, we're making the boogeyman that Baba Yega. <laughs> For those that know that uh, uh, that boogeyman, they're, they're pulling the boogeyman out. You got to have a boogeyman to, to move the people, to scare the people. So now these cartels are, are, are here to, to scare you. But really, where did they originate from? Where's the roots of the cartels and how are they being able to get this much power on the back doorstep of a, of a nuclear powered country that, ha that has some of the most sophisticated technology in the known world? How they how are they able to operate? And they're, they're supposedly run of the mill, how they getting the guns and, and the weapons and the and the funding to hold down the certain areas that, that produce these drugs. Okay? So I just wanted to bring that quick fact out. And in honor of the great people of Aurora, Colorado, we will call this Operation Aurora. Because they were the first to suffer with this group. See? So now let's I got a couple different things we're going to jump into. Let's do Aurora. Okay. Meaning. The word Aurora meaning. A name Aurora has multiple meanings, including the name, uh, name of Latin, which ornates means dawn. Damn. It was often given to people in ancient Rome and Latin cultures to represent new beginnings in the rising sun. So that's 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 a spiritual name in itself. All right. Left and right, because they're wanting to issue in. He didn't get that for by himself. OK, he there's speech writers. So the speech writer, whoever wrote that speech, whoever wrote this, that 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 buzzword knew what they were doing. OK, because the, the left handed side believes in word magic. And uh, uh, nomen nomens, okay. It says the name of Roman goddess of dawn, okay. Going, but that shows you that it's, it's Rome, okay. The Roman goddess of dawn, so they're pulling their energy from from Rome. They could have named it anything. It says a natural light, a natural light displaying on Earth skies, also known as aurora pol polaris or polaris light, it caused by charged solar particles that are guided among the Earth's magnetic. So that's it on that. So it means dawn, okay, new dawn. So he's bringing that that spirit of a new beginnings, but it's a new beginnings of the end, okay.
<laughs> so and then the, the the crazy part is they compensated them. They compensated those Japanese people that that were in those internment camps. Okay, they gave them money. So they've been they've been giving them they've been giving them a uh, compensation. Let's say, let's say Japanese intern camps. Let's say um. Look, it says in 1988, the United States government provided reparations to rep Japanese Americans who were incarcerated during World War II through the Civil Bill Liberty Act. It says cash payment. The act provided a one-time cash payment of $20,000 to each surviving person who was detained in the camps. The total amount paid out was $1.6 billion. Or $3.5 billion in, in 2019 dollars. Come on, man. And you Negroes, you, I'm talking to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, majority of the, the, the so-called Jakes from West Africa that was enslaved here. You ain't received a red cent. You ain't received a fucking red cent, man. But they gave them $20,000 each. And $20,000 back then, that, that's damn near $50,000, $60,000 today. Because they showed you how the money changed, or $3.5 billion in 2019. So, so that's why it says you ain't, this ain't your rest. For you Jakes that want to, to yearn for this, this man don't give two shits about you. So what makes you think he ain't going to put you in those camps? He paid the, the, the Moabites, all right? He paid them. But he, you, you still ain't been paid, and you did. You, 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 you went through the harshest chattel slavery a people could go through. They have proof of it on proof, but guess what? You ain't they gotta debate what they wanna pay you if they wanna pay you anything. So that's why I said that man, when this place goes down, call her law, man. Fuck you people that wanna ride with it, man. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. We we sit here suffering in poverty, still last hired, last fired, paying these bills. We paying to be slaves. That's all you're doing. You're going to work just to pay to be a slave. Because if you don't work, you're just going to be homeless and there it go. They're going to lock your ass up anyway and you're going to be in, the, in bondage. So it's either bondage or work and be in bondage. That's why you live check to check, which is slavery. It's a constant stress. It's a constant uh, um, mind turn. So that's why you have to have your mindset on the world to come, man. You take a chip for this, you a nigga, man. You are, you are, you are not. You are faithful, bowing down to your enemy, man. Not saying we ain't sitting here as tough guys. We want to do something against the government. We ain't we ain't here to do nothing. You gotta Esau got an answer to Yahbashim Yahusha. You got an answer to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Bible that you push in this land. It tells you of what judgment comes down. You even supposed to treat your slave with somewhat of respect. Okay? But now you you do you did the things and now they want to bring it up again. They really want you Jakes. They're gonna put the Latin tribes in bondage, but you Jakes are gonna be swept along with them because all they gotta do is change the narrative, and you will ride along with them. You're gonna be lumped in with them. So let's pull up this card real quick, because there's something called the Illuminati card game. Okay, the Illuminati card game was a, a game dedicated to the plans of the elites. If you've never heard of it, go look into it. Go look up. Do your research. You'll see. All right. So they told you things right here in plain sight because that's a part of their magic. They can't do things without telling you that they're doing it. It's almost they telegraph the punches. That's how their magic works. If they lie about it, hide it, that's not how they, their, their magic, their plans are going to come to pass. But if it comes to pass and you know it and you allow it to happen, that's on you. That's how they work. It's it's the simple playbook. Why do they have this card here? It says enough is enough, right? And what is he saying? The same thing. Look at his facial features. How? Who does he look like to you? At any time, at any place, the, our snipers can drop you. Have a nice day. And what happened to him? Was he not? A, 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 was there not a, a trial on assassination attempt on his life? Now let's look down here. They, they've already tied it with him. Look, look at the look at the face. Look at the face. What is that a coincidence? Are we on a are we on a coincidence? How's this happening? And then they got the next one, which is charismatic leader. Let's read. Let's look up the charismatic leader. What does it say? 
This card may be played at any time. The counts as an action for the groups it group it it affects. And you can see the background. These are all Johnny Come Edomites. Look at this dude. Look at them. They're Edomites. You can clearly tell that they're Edomites. Charismatic leader. It increases power, takes effect immediately. The power of one fant uh, uh what does that say? Fant frantic group is increased to six links of the card and choose frantic group. So this they, they tying it with that, man. Charismatic leader. Here you go. And let's zoom in. Look. Especially him with the glasses. Now let's stop. Go back to YouTube. Okay. Let's go back into the background. And you can see. Let's look. Those same type of faces, but no signs. So th this thing has been set up. Okay. So that, that act right there, look into the alien uh, enemies act, you'll see. Breaks down when they interned the uh, Japanese during the time of World War II. So they already had that plan there. Now it's being used again because they're going to use, because the same people that they're they're going after are you Jakes. You Jakes. The, the, the ones that are over here legally and they're operating under these guys of MS-13 and the Israelites, okay, Latin tribes. But they're going to they're gonna find a way to go ahead and include you Jakes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi into that ilk. Now, we don't know how they're going to do it, you know, but they've already got it in the plans, the logs, and we know it. They come, it's been prophesied. Okay, it's been prophesied. It's not something that we over here telling you that's not, it's coming. Esau's, because he's asked this one also, too. Let's read this. It says, Combined disasters. So, what do you see? Disasters. Okay, disaster after disaster after disaster. So they, this is a part of their plans too. So everything you see taking place from Harp, all of these are their plans. But they've told you it's your, your, your. It's on you to do your diligence to look into it and see these card games and know what's going on. But if you don't, it's on you. Okay. It's on you. So let's go ahead and read some of these precepts and we'll close on out because the Lord has given us this this inspiration to know that guess what He's coming, man. All right. And these are the and this is the son of perdition that has been revealed, and he's gonna do his thing. He's gonna he's he's controlled just like it says the creature made subject unto vanity, Esau's made subject unto wickedness. He don't have a choice but to do what he's doing. This is Daniel's twelve and verse one. It says at that time shall Michael Michael Allah stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never since there was a nation even to the same time. And at that time, that people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. What is that? The book of life. That means the elect. And it's talking about in the times you see in because Babylon is going to be a ground zero for that. Okay. A lot of the, the hardships and the things are coming in and you see it now. That act is for Babylon. Those camps are for Babylon. It's not worldwide camps. They're not going to intern people worldwide in their own countries or their, their foreigners in other countries. They're going to do it here. So the time of Jacob is going to take, the time of Jacob's trouble is going to take place here in Babylon. That's why the Lord doublefold sent those migrants up here to Latin tribes, because now they can be judged or delivered. They can fulfill the number that the Lord has set, 12,000 out of each tribe. If those people are here, 12,000 out of all those tribes are here in the wave of those migrants, whoever they are, whoever they may be, the Lord is going to deliver them. Or if they're two thirds, they're going to be judged here also. A lot of those gang members They've committed uh, uh, heinous acts. They've worked. They've done the deed for the devil. So the Lord's bringing them here to taste nuclear missiles, man. All right. So we don't have to hunt them at hunt them down later in the time of the purge of, of purging out the rebels. You see how the Lord these are these are spiritual chess moves, man. By the by the master on high, man. The chess master on high. All right. That's why it says Yahweh. He is, man. He does. There's nothing he, that he's not in control of, or has his hands in, or his spirit is a part of, man. Okay. That's why it's omnipotent. There's nothing that the most, he knows every, he knows what all has been done. He's brought them here, put their spirits to come across that, that line into the, into the melting pot. Okay. The, the, the lake of fire, they've, they've, they they've entered into it. It just hasn't been lit yet. The fuel is here. He says the people are going to be made into fuel. So it's just got to be lit, man. Okay. It says, and many of them that sleep in the dust. Okay. 
of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And that's what you see now with this truth that's been spreading out through the four corners of the planet earth. All right. And says, and they that be wise shall shine. And what is that? Those that are wise in the knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Those that are biblically wise. Those that are spiritually wise. That's why seven women shall take hold of a spiritual man. Just not just some random Negro because they're going to be bugged out. Okay. So that man that's in the right spirit and is blessed is going to shine in those days. And that's what's going to try because women like power. They like safety and comfort. They, that's why women want that 1%. The one percenter is they don't care what kind of man it is, but they're they're wanting that man and that one percent, especially in the wealth, because they know they'll be taken care of. But in that time, they ain't going to be worrying about no they ain't not going to be worrying about no. Oh, just not money. They're going to be saying, shit, we just need protection. It's hard out here. OK, and that's what the time we at now is get yourself in order, get your, your mind right, tighten up and, and, and pray to the Lord. Regardless, Esau is going down, man. That's that's that warms my heart. <laughs> when his place goes down, he's done. There's no refuge for the wicked, man. OK, this is Matthew 24 and verse 21. It says, for then shall be and then for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there shall be there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened because in the landmass of Babylon is going to be nasty, man. It's going to be nasty. He's going to he's going to tear and he's going to because he know if that he have but a short time. So he's going to go crazy, man. All right. That's to show you that. And then let's let's tie in that the elect will be saved out of Babylon and, and a majority parts, some certain parts of the world, too, because we got brothers that are, you know, in uh, doing the work uh, overseas. This is Revelation 7 and 14. And I shall send unto him, Selachia. It says, and it says, and I said unto him, sir, thou knowest. Uh, let's go up here. Verse 13, it says, and one of the elders answered, saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, these are they which came out of great tribulation, great trouble, Jacob's trouble, which is in Babylon, the deliverance. That's what it's going to be in that time and have washed their robes. And what's the robes? Your mentality. OK, washed your spirit. And if you, you've, you've attained to you are an Israelite going back to uh, Joshua in the, in the, in the, um, in the, the filthy garments. OK, and then it says, wash their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. And that's the what you're not seeing a bunch of how's it? How's a white garment going to be made white in blood? It's talking about the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai coming back to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and going back because what does the blood of the lamb signify? The new covenant. Okay. The blood, it, it, it signifies the payment that is due for the new covenant to be it's issued. Right. Because the, the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai did has brought us into the what? The inner courts. All right. The holies of holies, the knowledge, wisdom that has been hidden in a mystery. That's why it says, even Paul said, it's speaking in a mystery. We prophesy in part, okay, because we've been issued and Yahweh has given us that, that inspiration, okay, inspire in God, in, okay, and it says, therefore are they before the throne of Yahweh and serve him day and night in his temple, and he, he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them, and we, he's going to be among us, our father's coming to us, man, our heavenly father's coming back to us, man, I, I, and he is love. So the Heavenly Father has, has done away with the separation and he's waiting to change the flesh, which then will be his sons again. All right. His sons is bun, bun yum yum. OK, his bun yum. OK, the sons. All right. And then you have the daughters, too. And our women are going to be in order and they're going to be under our umbrella. OK. And that says um, there shall no hunger. It says they shall no more hunger, neither thirst nor more, and thirst anymore. Neither shall the son of sun light on them nor any heat, okay, going into the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right, so we in these times now, man, okay, great things are getting ready to take place, this is 2nd Ezra 2 and verse 27, I'll go through these, it says, be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness come, what is that, Jacob's trouble, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance, all right, because some of us are going to be in good cause in that time. Those that have put in work and, and gathered faith as a treasure. All right. 
And then this is the book of 2 Ezra 14 and verse 13. It says, now, therefore, set thy house in order, your mind, your, your mentality, your spirit, and reprove thy people. Comfort such as be in trouble, as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. Get out of this world. Give yourself right. Going back to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Learning the true doctrine. Pushing the true doctrine. Not pushing Esau's GMO bullshit, man. Second Ezra 16 and verse 67. It says, Behold, Yahweh himself shall be Salak, and behold, Yahweh himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them. Forever, for, uh, so shall Yahweh lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. All right. Namely, Jacob's trouble. So that's the criteria. Leave, forget iniquities and going back into Christianity. That's iniquity. That's idolatry. All those things that Yahweh told us to leave off and leave alone, man. And then 2 Ezra 15 and verse 3. Fear not, fear not the indignation against thee. Let not incredulity and unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And we see it now. Men are speaking against us, especially with the MOTB not being what it is. Hell, all these other doctrines that are coming out of the left field. It's in verse 18. For It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Okay? Because it's the time of trouble, man. All right, so we're telling you, we're pushing, we're giving you the 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 real the real nitty gritty, all right, the real McCoy, and then it's on you to believe, man. Time is the door is shutting, Jake. The door is shutting, man. So the time we have now is lean on the spirit as much as possible and pray to Yahweh Shem Yahshua to keep you and, and and nourish you in these times, man, because we're gonna need it. So Lord willing, that fine lesson, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna say, Call Halal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Chakudash. Until the next time, I say shalom, and more now than ever, keep faith. Shalom.